Hello and welcome to part 5 in this video series on Python and Arduino serial communication. In this video we're going to go over using numbers and computing the average of a data set. We'll start where we left off in part 4. In part 4 we collected multiple data points and then printed them out. When we like to do data analysis we need to make sure that we're using numbers. We can only do math operations on numbers. If we have strings or characters, these will cause issues. It's important to understand what type of information we're dealing with. I'll add a statement to print out the type of data points that we're collecting and storing into the list to double check and make sure what type they are and if we can go ahead and do mathematical operations on them. After collecting the data points, we see that each individual point in this list is a string. If we try to do math operations on strings, we'll get an error. I'll use the sum function to demonstrate what happens. The sum function adds all the values in a list and returns that value. See, we get an error here. We can modify this existing code to get it to do what we'd like. We know that when the data comes in, it's a string. If we convert it to an integer, we can keep this sequence of code that follows. We can use the int function. The int function will convert our string to an integer, so we can do mathematical operations on it. After executing this code, we see we get the total sum of the list at the top value and then get the list printed out afterwards. A good quick check to see what type of information you're working with is to see if they have quotes around them. Notice that our integers do not have quotes, but the previous list of strings do. Now that we can sum all the values in a list, we're halfway through the average calculation. We know the size of the list is num points. So let's use that variable to divide the sum total that we calculated. This gives us the average. We see that after running it, we get the average and then the individual points in the list. Averaging can be useful for smoothing out data that's really noisy. I'd like to point out that using num points to divide the sum total is really useful if we want to change the amount of data points we want to average. For example, I'll change it to 10. This is good coding practice because we only update it in one place. When we use one variable consistently, we make sure that we won't have any indexing errors because of the size of the list, and we won't hit any other boundary problems. Thank you for watching this video, and stay tuned for more content on Arduino and Python serial communication.